Hi guys, so I'm back today with a different type of video. I actually wanted to talk about something. It still is webtoon, a webtoon artist rambles, but this time I kind of want to talk about what my goal is for my webtoon or at least building my my brand, which my brand is basically me creating web comics or webtoons and just sharing it online. So I guess like to start off first, my my goal is to I want to make a living like I want to make a living with my with my company or with my brand S Marshita Studio and with that I I don't want my main source of revenue to have to come from me providing services because my passion is more so in writing stories writing comics so I want the majority of my time to be spent creating comics and then another Another passion of mine actually is sharing, like, just talking about comics, talking about webtoons in general, or just comics in general, or just storytelling in general, like tips, advice, supplies that I use, whatever, anything under the sun. You mention comics around me, I'm talking about it. <laughs> so I want, of course, my time to also be spent doing that. And so with my brand, I want to build it up to where it is able to sustain itself just with that. And and so the way that I'm going to try to reach that goal is by blogging. And with blogging, you can do ad revenue and like sponsored posts and, and affiliate marketing and, and so on and so forth. Right now, I'm trying to build up my ad revenue. Like right here, here's my, this is like one of my ads. And also on, let me click my webtoon on my website. I also have ads placed there when you go to read it as well, just like at the bottom and in the middle, like right here, and then you scroll down and you can read the rest of the webtoon. But so ad revenue is one of the ways that I'm going about trying to trying to monetize my my brand or, or make a living from my comics. And of course, like you can do this online webtoons platform as well. I, I have a blog post about that. I don't know if it's posted yet, but if it is, I can link to it below. But you can make, um, you can be a part of like line tune, line tunes, <laughs> line webtoons, ad revenue sharing program, and then also their creator support program. Let me, you know, instead of just saying that, let me just go ahead and pull it up. So with line webtoon, they have, they, I, I, I like what they're doing. I mean, it's not like I, I'm an authority figure in anything, but I just like seeing this kind of stuff. Because back in 2010, there wasn't... Back in 2008, shoot. <laughs> there wasn't really stuff like this out there. I mean, there were certain websites and whatnot that we could be a part of. But seeing how there are more websites that are actually doing like ad revenue sharing programs or creator reward programs, even with Tapas, let me go ahead and pull them up as well. They also have a way that you can monetize your webcomic. Now this doesn't mean that, you know, either that it's going to be easy. Like with what I'm doing on my own website, it's it's taking and it's going to take a lot of like hard work, consistency and dedication and keeping like a positive mindset like for myself. But I I believe that it's going to I believe it's going to just there's so many other bloggers that have done it. Now they're not necessarily webtoon artists or comic creators. And a lot of the traditional people, a lot of the comic creators in the traditional stance that have, like, made a living have gone down, like, the traditional publishing route. And I'm, I'm, I want to veer off and do something a little different. I want to do, like, a combination of, of blogging and posting comics. And I want to see, because, like, I, I see other mom blogs that make a, a I see other blogs in general that make a good living with, uh, make a very decent income <laughs> with just blogging and ad revenues and affiliate marketing and and sponsored posts and, and whatnot. So I'm like, if they can work hard and achieve that, I think there's something there for us webtoon creators and comic artists to be also be able to to take and build on and, and, and make an income and living for ourselves, just doing what we love to do. So that's what I'm trying out. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm testing that out. Of course, you know, I would love to be a part of 
you know, sharing programs like this, but I don't have this many page views for on Webtoon. And then, um, with the, also, it's pretty cool to pass. They also have like their own ad revenue and their own support program, and and also you can their premium stories as well. I don't know too much information on that, but I do, do know about their inks and, and the ad revenue part. But I kind of want to just build my own brand first. Or, I mean, it's not like I really got an option. Because <laughs> no one's knocking on my door being like, hey, we want to publish you. Which is fine. But I've gone down the route to where I had all of my stuff all on one basket. And I don't, and then that basket fell through. And I, I don't like not having that stability, you know. So... This is why, I mean, there still is instability with my own my own platform, but I want to just, at least it's my stability, instability that I, that it's because of me, you know, it's not in someone else's hands, which it's not a bad thing if you want all, do, do whatever makes you happy. It makes me happy to be able to have my own site and build my own brand and, and, and just reach this goal that I have. So that's that's kind of what I, I'm doing right now and I'm not sure where this will take me I'm not sure where I'll be three years from now but I want to give it a shot you know so I've been trying to stay consistent with my blog post I started um, posting more consistently in January so I'm on my fourth month we're in April April now and when I say posting consistently I mean more so posting blog posts and doing my YouTube pages because that's where I'm trying to build up my ad revenue with the ad dis with the display ads on my blog post and then I'm trying to get my YouTube page up to where I can start monetizing it right now it's not monetized um, hopefully in the future it will be to where I can start earning the revenue from that with oh I do want to go into a little bit of detail about analytics now when it comes to ad displays the income from that you do have to have like a certain number with traffic and right now this I'm getting like 63 users per per day and from I'm getting this is like within the month of April so we're slowly building up I, I believe to um, to start like making a substantial amount not substantial but like it w when you start making like at least a thousand dollars with ad revenue it's usually you have to have like 10k users coming to your site or well I think yeah 10k users whichever to where you can get basically twelve dollars a day or something like that I'm still doing research so don't 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 take my word for anything that I'm saying but this is where I'm at right now I'm at 68 users coming to my website to read so I'm very appreciative of that um, my sessions so far this month is this um, 603 I believe I need to get it up to 10k to be able to apply for other ad revenue programs but for now we're using Google Adsense and they're great because you don't really need to you don't really need to have to apply there's no there's no like 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 number that you have to reach it's perfect for beginners is basically what I'm trying to say if you have like slow numbers like me or even lower than that they, it's great it's great <laughs> I think it's great I can't explain why it's great it's just you don't have to worry about trying to reach some number you can just start where you're at which is why it's great so yeah there we go <laughs> so that's what I'm doing that's my goal we'll see where this takes me and I just wanted to kind of share that with you and I guess kind of just document for myself so I can look back on this someday maybe in like three years or five years and be like wow we made it we're actually hitting the numbers that we see other blog people hitting and and you can make a living just doing what you love to do and for me I love talking about comics I love drawing comics I love sharing comics <laughs> so well sharing my comics of course but anyways I I hope you guys found something helpful from this. I just wanted to just document document this and just talk about my goals and how I'm going to reach those goals and what I'm doing to reach those goals. Again, I'm a, I'm a rambler, so I definitely get off topic. But anyways, I will talk to you guys again in another video. I hope this webtoon was some webtoon. This webtoon artist rambles was some what insightful or helpful. Alrighty, thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want to hear more of my 
webtoon artist rambles and i will talk to you again later bye